Welcome back to Revolt Records. All right, today we have a very sad, sad day. Why do that? Why do that? Why do that? Why do that to me? Huh? What's up with this, man? Shit. Them men fought bravely and valiantly. <laughs> Leave that shit alone. Leave it alone, man. Y'all. Y'all pull some sad, sorry shit here on this one, man. Y'all just want to keep making the same mistakes over and over, right? Just keep erasing history, pretend like it ain't never happened. Hmm? Or what, you want to take it personally or some shit? Come on, man. We all here, we got one purpose, man. One person. It's two person. It's three person. It's all of us. And if we don't get that, then we ain't got no power. Trying to encounter with our enemies and shit, right? Who them enemies? <laughs> hmm? Ain't very many I can see. Not in everyday life. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't fall for the lame stream shit, man. This motherfucker, look at him. Drinking hand sanitizer and shit. Jesus, Mary. Attention, holding, please, holding. This is the Operation Rapid Fire Response Team, and we are here because we think that you've been fucking with our shit, dog. Hmm? No, we haven't been fucking with your shit. We're just the uh, Operation Warp Speed. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? What the hell? Uh, right. <laughs> Operation Warp Speed is uh, what we're dealing with. Uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to <laughs> spread the vaccines among the population because, you know, the population's gotten too big and there's global warming and, you know, it's all just a conundrum for all of us. So, why not? Why not? Just, you know... <laughs> We could do a great job with our vaccines, and then, you know, we can fulfill the Georgia Guidestones all, yeah, you know, I mean, that's all it is. It's okay, everybody, it's okay. Just go back in your cage, and, and, and then, and make sure you wear that little, that little muzzle on, you know, because you're not allowed to do anything out there that we don't like, because we're going to send police drones after you, mm-hmm, and we're also... Uh -huh. We're going to make you register into our little technology thingy on your phone, and then you're going to have to start rounding up all your money you spend at the grocery store. We're going to tell you it's for charities, but it's really because all the fucking billionaires bought up millions of dollars worth of change because the change is worth more than the fucking dollar currency value, and it's in this fake fucking banking system, all right, y'all? Wowzers, motherfucker. I can't believe I did that all from the the uh voice acting position of the wrong fucking side right okay because we are the ones who <clears throat> cheers ah uh, we don't give a fuck what your excuse is okay we require everybody to be accountable accountable and being receptive to understanding perspective. The scientific method, psychology, and the media propaganda machine. Where in the United States, it's okay for the government to make a law that says that they can legally broadcast domestic propaganda lies 
to try to persuade you to think and act a certain way. Yeah, the Smith Munt Act, 2012. Look it up. There's a reason why I keep talking about this. And you see, it gets even deeper than that because the formation of the OSS, which became the CIA, yeah, it's been going on since then. They are perpetrating a lot, a lot of this disinformation campaign, psychological warfare, okay? And I've already been there on, you know, throwing in little curveballs about Bill Gates and his quote philanthropic measures or donations to you know whatever the fuck it's all in the same category though right it's a, it's of planet earth okay it you can reduce it down to that small of a model just our planet that we're on that we're floating around in outer space spinning in such precision that we can measure it to where our moon is and where our sun is and all these other things, you know, right? And Bill Gates, because he's so rich, he contributes an enormous amount of money as a corporate entity through his foundation, right? Because once you understand these principles in what makes you just an individual or a corporation, and then how you have to make money and pay taxes and spend money to put back into your own self-investment, the laws are very touchy there being an individual as opposed to a corporation because when you're a corporation you make money spend money then pay taxes and when you're an individual you make money pay taxes then you get a little back dicky they'll throw you little crumbs at the end you know yeah talk about slave slave training right everybody wants you to believe the coke or the pepsi you know we're going to watch our lamestream news media program here, and we're paying them $100 or more a month for the fucking cable service, right? And they're going to lie to us. Continually, nonstop, on every network. And that's what we pay them to do, right? Is that not loving your enslavement like... In a brave new world. How that was written. How Mexico. And this is getting into the real esoteric. So please don't get offended. But this is just straight facts. This is what is real. This is what happened. Okay. Mexico. There used to be. A grand civilization there. That spread across a wide swath of land and was even distinguishable from culture to culture, yet prosperous. And they built these grand structures that are only now being able to be found with new LiDAR technology, and they've done scans across Central and South America, and they're finding new pyramid structures, stone living structures, buildings that are buried by trees pretty much and it, it's amazing and that there was something there right that mainstream archaeology is not spelling out it's not telling people right well think about it once you start okay and this is a very important point that I want to make also is you can't just automatically out of hand discredit something so hear out what someone is saying okay or what you're looking into and and look at it from the perspective of okay uh you know the victors win the wars and these kind of principles so th 
basically, when you see that someone is making a straw man, right, they can be going to the utmost extreme of the absurd, and that's called reduction to absurdity, and I've talked about that in The Lone Gunman Theory 2, which they, YouTube deleted the first one, but you can still see the second one there, because it's, I, I think, a more polished case that I make there for that uh, Lone Gunman scenario. And uh, so when you do these things, you create a straw man, or you do reductum ad absurdum, reduction to absurdity, you demonstrate that you are getting to a false conclusion and jumping the gun without doing your due diligence and, and having a check and balance system and going through and combing the evidence and then looking and, and getting different perspectives, different sides uh, and accounts and uh, different information from a, a neutral standpoint, then you start to get off to the super extreme to where, you know, you'll believe everything that, you know, knowing that there's this domestic propaganda legalized on the news, believing everything that, that you see on the news as gospel or everything that any politician or businessman says as gospel and uh, that it's the truth and everybody means well and they're going to, you know, or you can go to the other end and then you think that you know that there's a lot of stuff that's crazy, but then you start believing again like that we live on a flat earth, you know? I mean, really, dude, how did you get there? Because I'm sorry, but that's just not the real you know, reality of the, of the, the, the situation that we're in right now. Okay. Uh, so you've got to get into that yin yang type of balance in the middle, right? And you've got to, you can't just vote for Coke or vote for Pepsi all the time and, and go along with it because it's insanity. Okay. The far left wants too much and, and you know, and it's a, it gotten to the point where it's absurd and the far right is, you know, if there even is, well, I mean, I don't know what percentage still believe a radical version of far right, but it's probably very few in America and 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 worldwide, unless it was, uh, you know, cooked up by some trendy media narrative about, uh, you know, blacks versus whites or some crazy shit. Like, who goes about, you know, without being influenced by the news, just thinking about that shit on a regular basis? No, dude, you interacting with other human beings. Like, what, what are you even fucking talking about, dude? Right? So that's where that perspective comes from. And you can't go to either one side or the other, right? You've got to find in the middle, like, okay, well, you know, I stand with the protesters that are protesting peacefully, but I don't stand with the rioters who are violently breaking and destroying people's property and stealing from these businesses and burning them, you know, or tearing down statues of, of people that were heroes, you know, and that lived by a different code back then than what our fucking privileged asses, because anybody that's living in an industrial society and that has air conditioning and grocery store food, you're fucking privileged, okay? So don't fucking tell me, just because of the color of your skin, that that applies any more to anybody else, dude. That is weak as fuck. And y'all are the type of people that take a kneel. You know what a fucking kneel is, dude? It's you surrendering to a superior opponent. That's what happens. So those of us that have that fucking fire and that are the alphas, we don't fucking kneel for people. All right? Whew. I said that one off for a little bit. Seriously, though. All right, so Trump made a speech. He said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, that was a terrible, terrible segue. Sorry to leave y'all on such a hot note there, but uh, I've got other news articles I got to move on for. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think you got the point. Anyway, Trump, uh, he's saying that uh, you might not see him for a while. He's made some some rich enemies, uh, you know, and then, and then we see him again, and he's talking about other stuff and doing interviews with Fox News and stuff. And, okay, so, all right, well, whatever. Who knows what he meant by that comment, right? I mean... <laughs> Really, what is this anymore, dude? This is what I'm saying. Is it, This is not reality, y'all. Cancel your damn TV cable. Support these these independent journalists. Like, I've, I've already left links for 
uh, channel that I support. There's a new one that uh, he's done a lot of great work on uh, this so-called pandemic uh, and how it relates in a perspective uh, history. He's a Canadian that lives in Japan. Uh, I'll leave his link down below. Uh, the Corbett Report. Check that one out too, guys. Um, yeah, man. I've been uh, doing I've been doing a lot of gardening. Uh, I'll show you these pictures here, different stuff I got, some uh, cold weather crops, and um, been digging out and extending the garden. Um, and we're gonna make a partial greenhouse, um, get some plexiglass for the uh, metal frame. But yeah, and then uh, you know, I, I had this thought, right? So it was about the Constitution, and for those of you all that are still here, thank you. Uh, I appreciate you. You're, you're probably mostly the subscribers anyway. But I had this thought about the Constitution, right? And so it's, you know, w when it comes to the Constitution, we shouldn't just be conservatives, right? We should be preservatives. We should preserve the Constitution with every fabric of our being, right? So that is what we're here for, right? As, well, especially for me, because by the gods, I have the lineage of those who initially had this principle and wrote it down on the paper. So to me, it, it is the most prominent thing in my life. And, and that is, is that you have to use your right as a citizen to oppose such tyranny that would be oppressing you to the point to where it causes untold destruction and just straight oppression you know i mean we could all agree on on the the tyranny of this great you know precision in 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 certain instances of of government action especially since the patriot act and then all these subsequent things that it has been slowly getting us to this crazy police state to where now it you know, people are, are really mad about the police and it, I can understand the side from both arguments, you know, and I'm not, I make no qualms about that. I've had my run-ins, you know, before when I was younger, but I mean, come on, man. Like we can't get to these points of extreme in this Coke versus Pepsi shit, man. That's what I'm telling you. That's, that's not the way to do it. We've got to connect with each other. We've got to work together as Americans as citizens of the world even you know that's what we need so uh all right y'all well i've had some interruptions and some uh uh different issues with my computer tonight but hey it's uh it's been Ms. Morse all the time keeping it live and uh make sure Hit that subscribe and like button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for tuning in to Revolt Records, and I will see y'all in the next weekly briefing. But that does not go to say that I will not make other different various video drops within the week sometimes. So, all right, y'all. Take care. Peace.